Okay, here we are. So let's call this uh, Friday Saturday session. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the techniques that we've been teaching all week. We only have a couple more for this week that I'm gonna do. And then next week, I think we're gonna concentrate more on some traditional forms um, and maybe some sets, kicking set, finger set. There's been a few requests for that kind of stuff. So um, as a reminder, the belt test, the brown belt and uh, advanced test, the, we had originally scheduled for the 20th of March has been postponed uh, due to um, the uh, coronavirus stuff that's going on. Massachusetts literally shut us down for three weeks. So I am going to be taking this at a you know week to week uh, basis and see where we're at at the end of each week. And uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna be providing you in terms of opening and then I'll provide you with the actual techniques and ongoing lessons for you guys to stay up on your stuff. Now, it's only good if you stay up on your material. Okay, so again, self-defense, from a self-defense perspective, not just a Kempo material techniques perspective, this next technique is called parting wings. Now, everybody knows this in the Kempo world, so many different ways, people do it, whatever. Uh, whatever way you're comfortable is, is what works best for you. So from a self-defense perspective, you have to remember that, see how I have my hands up here? And this I learned from Grandmaster Tatum, such a, a fantastic teacher. You know, your hands are already in a place like, hey, listen, I don't want any problems, you know? If your hands are up and somebody is going to do an attempted choke at you uh, or on you with a choke or a two-hand grab, you already have your hands in place. And these hands naturally act as a check. So when we go to do the technique, it's going to help you that much more. Rather than having your hands down here, you're kind of caught off guard, um, and then somebody gets a hold of you, it's gonna be a lot harder to release those arms or release yourself from that grab. So I'll demonstrate that. I'll show you quickly on mic, just kind of see, so you can see how this works. Thanks, Mike. So if I'm standing here and I know I'm about to be, you know, in a confrontational situation, if my hands are down, and Mike go ahead and does a two-hand grab on me and pulls me. Even if I settle back, see he's now resisting and fighting me, right? We're no longer working from an ideal phase here. Now if I try to go and he's gonna hold on really tight, hold on tight. Even if I try to break the hold here, I kind of have to move into a different technique. I'm gonna have to use my, my natural weapons on his natural targets. So, but now if you look at it this way, Hey, listen, I don't want any trouble. I already have my hands kind of in place right here. So if Mike goes to grab me, my hands are already in the inside of his arms. So it's easy for me to kind of part my way out of this here and drive my technique in here. Okay, so watch again slowly. So, uh, hey, listen, I don't want to He goes to grab me, my hands are here, I move. I'm gonna use my hands and use that torque. Then I'm gonna slice, I like the eye slice. The reason for the eye slice is that if I shoot this chop, this heel palm or this chop right into his ribs, that could create a design where he headbutts me. And for a safety consideration, I don't wanna be in the way of that hard head. So what I'm gonna do is I divert the head. As he comes in, I'm up. I'm gonna just drop this down for the camera. I'm gonna divert the head and drive. If and when he picks his head up, I'm gonna shift back to my neutral bow and chop him right in the throat. Ideally, he'll probably do this with two hands. If he doesn't and his hands are here, I'm gonna check him down, go to a forward bow and employ a middle knuckle strike to the solar plexus or to the sternum. Notice how my body positioning is nice and straight. Again, structurally sound forward bow. From here, you know, we can do an eye hook. I like the chop. Eye hook and chop. Some people do eye hook, eye hook, left, right kick, pop, and then we move and then back, boom, and then we're through, right? Um, so let's take it slowly, one more time. Hey, let's just back up. Hey, listen, I don't want any problem. This could easily turn into a wrestling match. Go, pop, I'm out. Now I'm gonna hook the eye, divert the head, drive, forward bell. Shoot back to a neutral bow, chop the throat, 
check the hands down because you don't want those flailing hands in your eyes. Forward bow and hit them with the middle knuckle. From here, I like, pick your head up, sir. I like that move. So what I do is I eye hook, pull it right into the chop. Then I shoot my left right kick across the nose, back knuckle, shoot, and then up. All right? Okay, give that a shot. <laughs> 